देखें ये आज पहला इवेंट है और आप देखेंगे कि इस तरह के कई इवेंट हम पाकिस्तान स्टॉक एक्सचेंज की प्लेटफॉर्म से होस्ट करते रहेंगे आइडिया ये है कि अनफॉर्चुनेटली आप देखें हमारे पास रोल मॉडल्स नहीं हैं इस मुल्क में और उसका सबसे बड़े दो रीज़न है पहला रीज़न ये है कि हमने अपनी सक्सेस स्टोरीज को कभी डॉक्यूमेंट नहीं किया और दूसरा सबसे बड़ा रीज़न है कि अपनी बिजनेस लीडर्स को हमने अक्नॉलेज नहीं किया उनको इज्जत नहीं दी आई थिंक इट्स हाई टाइम दैट पाकिस्तान स्टॉक एक्सचेंज ने ये इनिशियटिव लिया है और यहाँ पर हम अपने बिजनेस लीडर्स को बुलाएंगे उनको अक्नॉलेज करेंगे उनकी फैमिलीज को बुलाएंगे और उनके साथ टाइम स्पेंड करेंगे Success of nations only occur when all of us act as one team. The problem we've had in Pakistan for the last 50 years is the fact that the nation is not united. All the time, we are playing matches that is competing in the international space without acting as a team. And if you look at the world today, the economies that are developing and developing rapidly, you find that there is teamwork there. All sectors of society come together. Because if we don't have economic progress, all of us suffer. And the true mandate of any government is the welfare of its people. So then governments must take and make policies and take action which will benefit the welfare of If we bring as many shoulders to the wheel that we can, the number of people can come and participate and help in the growth of the economy for the benefit of all. So, uh, would you say some words about your Congress? Would you would you would you give some word on your Congress? On your? my companies, of course. I think that. Um, thank you. I've, you have to. Uh, appreciate that we are one of the oldest companies on the stock exchange. I myself was a member of the stock exchange for over 30 years. And it's a stock exchange which is the barometer of the economy. And what we should endeavor to do is to make the stock exchange such an important part, such an important part of, of bringing the nation together in seeing progress come through by people participating in the growth of the economy. And this is really the role of the stock market. A lot of people look at this as a place to, to make money. Stock exchange is not for making money. Stock exchange is for creating money. That's the difference. And you spoke uh, uh, the government should take some policies and should implement. So would you highlight what, what should be the, those policies? Well, that's a rather easy question, difficult to answer. The fact is, there are two parts, in my opinion, to policy. One is obviously the technical framing of policy, incentives, etc. Whatever you may want to do, whatever the government may want to achieve. The other part is, how do you get people to come forward and participate in that? You see, there are two fundamental roles. The role of government is the formulation of policy. The role of the business sector is the implementation of policy. When you don't have clarity of roles, you get the confusion that we've got today. I read the other day in the, in the newspaper that the losses of this state-owned enterprise is of the tune of 11.5 trillion rupees. That's when government is starting to come into the realm of policy implementation. They're not organized for that. 
that institutionalized to formulate policy. It's a, it is the business sector which is capable and is organized to implement policy. Saudi visit. And uh, the, the problem of this uh, Pakistan facing the gas issue, and this, the, the, the neighbor countries are showing uh, the threatening of our. Uh, this, uh, the la last year I've seen the three or four days they are the, so much uh, now uh, noising are coming from our neighbor country. So, how do you see that business community are now seeing these uh, problems are going through this government taking? What the initiative they have to uh, first is. Uh, when the government came into power, there was an incredible financial crisis. I think the government has been outstandingly successful in trying to bring its friends on board. That is the Saudis, people, uh, UAE, the Qataris, the Chinese, and they've shown, uh, and the Malaysians, and they've shown an incredible uh, uh, credibility to all of our friends. And it's amazing how our friends have responded and come forward to support us in our time of difficulties. So there's been outstanding success in that field. Now we have to translate that into success internally. Now, the visits of the uh, draw the hands of the crown prince. It's extremely important, not only from an economic point of view, but from a geopolitical point of view. So when you have this type of high profile visits coming in, it provides the nation confidence in itself, in its ability to go out and compete in the community of nations. Now we have certain challenges from the eastern border, and we have to manage that. I don't know what the details are, but I do know that it needs attention and I'm sure the government is fully aware of that. As far as the business sector is concerned, our job is to try to collaborate with the government in whatever direction the government sets. So they must, the government must define what it is they want done and it's our job to turn around and support them by investing in those areas and hopefully creating jobs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.